Oh, it's me, Joy. I just want to get on her real quick before I go to the gym and give you all a quick testimony about how I lost 100 pounds. Um, first of all, God had been calling me to fast, to, to a Daniel fast. The Daniel fast that God called me to was vegetables and water. And you can find that in Daniel chapter 1, verse 12. God, that was that's my breakthrough fast. That's the fast that God has done miracles for me in my life. Even... Um, that's the fast I've been doing since 2008. Now, since then, God has changed different things like had me do the 40 day liquid and water fast and, um, you know, different things like that. But the breakthrough fast that I have been on since 2008 is Daniel 1 to 12 vegetables and water. And what I did was I, I got up to 243 pounds. I'm five, six. I was so fat, discouraged embarrassed the only thing i did i went to work church uh if i if work church to the grocery store that's it i hid even from the people at church i hid that's what i did i was so embarrassed and that affected my ministry because i wasn't taking no ministry engagements fat like that no i didn't i sure didn't so I hid myself. See, when you are called by God, the devil will use whatever he can to keep you from going forward. And that was one of his tactics for me. Kept me discouraged so that I can eat and, you know, be so um, just discouraged. So anyway, uh, in January of 2014, um, I lost weight prior to that, but then I gained it back. You know, you, you allow stress and you're doing different things, so many different things, things that God didn't even tell you to do. And it can cause you to uh, be off balance. So I allowed the weight. I, I lost weight. I was 215 in 2011. I got down to 150 in 2012. Then I gained the weight back and I gained more weight than I ever have. I had. I got up to 243 pounds. And I'm going to show pictures. I have to have one of my daughters show me how to do it because I don't know. But I will upload the picture so you can see how fat I was. Oh, I was fat. I was fat. <laughs> Anyway, so I prayed and I always prayed, but God told me to fast and he, and you know what happened? I stopped fasting from 2013 to the beginning of 2014. That's how I got off track because fasting is my lifestyle. Fasting is a mantle that God gave me. Fasting is, and I never called myself on a fast. He continuously called me on fast. Why? I don't know. Maybe the pride, the arrogance, the disobedience, the, uh, uh, the um, you know, easy to get off track, procrastination. I dealt with all those demonic, inf those demonic forces that kept me from pursuing God and pursuing my purpose. So maybe fasting, the reason why God always have me fasting is to keep those, that door closed because pride is no joke. So when you are in pride, fast and humbles you and keeps your door bolted. That's what it does. So anyway, so I prayed him and I said, God, help me lose this weight. I was so discouraged. And what happened was a friend of mine had died and his brother um, was a friend of mine, too. And he, he reached out to me on Facebook and told me that his brother had passed and I, I couldn't believe it. But he wanted me to, he asked, you know, I wanted to go to the funeral to support, but I was so fat. I wasn't going to that funeral. Oh no. I, I was too embarrassed to let anybody see me like that. I'm just going to be honest. So I didn't go. That was my breaking point. I prayed. I said, God help me. He said, do a, do a 21 day Daniel fast, vegetables and water. So the first day I started, I just had this energy to walk so what i did i started walking two miles for that first week and then it increased to two miles twice a day and that's where then i started working out twice a day and i kept doing my daniel fast finished that first 21 then god started calling me on 40 40 40 40 day fast set three months later this was january and by march i was down 70 pounds no, this was February. By 
April, the end of April, I was down 70 pounds. God did it. So, I mean, I'm going to show you pictures and you will see my transformation. So I'm so grateful to God. He, and not only did he do the weight loss, but he, he, he fasting also gets rid of all the debauchery, all the enemies, uh, hidden devices to keep you down. Procrastination, lying, lust, adultery, all of the different things that you deal with. Fasting will shut that devil down. He would give you energy and God would give you energy and clarity through that fast. Speak to you, show you things to come, give you favor. If you want those things in your life, you need to fast. I love you all so much. I didn't mean to take up this much time. I just want to encourage you fast for your breakthrough. Not only that, fasting, God blessed me to write 58 books. Because I fast. See, your, your, your time will increase. He said he will restore everything the devil stole from you. Girl, let me tell you something. People look and say, oh, you got 58 books. God bless you with the business. God bless you with the health and fitness, this. God bless you with this and that, baby. Let me tell you something. That's nothing compared to what God is going to do. That's why I'm here to tell you, baby, 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 fasting is the key because that's what the Holy Spirit told me in 2008 when I didn't even have a bed to lay in going down to the floor when I lost everything. Me and my husband, my ex-husband lost everything, baby. Even in 2014, the, the devil stole my husband. We divorced. I divorced him. I know it was wrong. I repented. But see, when I wasn't obeying God, the devil comes to steal, kill, and destroy. We've been married. We have been together 23 years, married 20 years. But baby, let me tell you something. It's not that he don't want me back, but I'm in that place of singleness where I want to be obedient to God. And I want God to heal joy and make me right. And when the time is right, whenever it's time for me to get with my husband, my ex-husband, or somebody new, I'm going to be in the right place with God. Why? Because fasting is the key. And not only is fasting a key, I use the key. I implement that key in my life. I take action. And that, the reason why I'm telling you my testimony, because you can take action too. God has no respect of person, but you got to obey him. I love you. I love you. God bless. This is Joy. Bye-bye.